Hi everyone! Hey everyone! I hope you have a beautiful evening um, and had a really nice Anzac day. We are absolutely pumped and excited um, yeah. to be live again with you guys and um, tell you about how to overcome fear. Hmm. So, um, a good way of overcoming fear, first of all, everyone has fear. We all have fear. Like, no matter if you see speakers, if you see people who are um, singers, um, artists, um, you know, whoever you see, everyone has fear. And just because they're out there um, doesn't mean they're not really fearful and have anxiety before they actually go out on stage or do that very thing they're fearful of. Um, I ha had a really good um, example back in the days, um, or still now a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, scared of heights. Um, hi, Susanna. Um, and um, so I thought one year, I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to jump out of the airplane. I'm really scared of heights, but I'm going to do it anyway mm -hmm. because I want to overcome that fear. So um, I always believed, and um, I believe that that's true, is to overcome your fear. Um, it's not really, you're still going to be fearful, but you're going to be more comfortable um, feeling that sensation and you're going to do it anyway. So um, I bought myself a ticket. Hey, Joel. How's it um, going, Joel? To um, jump out of the airplane and um, yeah, I went there all by myself and um, had this guy I was supposed to jump with and um, we were going up with this really tiny airplane and it was like all shaking and the door was still open and we were almost already in the air and I thought, holy shit, what did I have got into? Um, you know, I literally... I was sitting between the legs of the guy I was jumping with because he was like the, um, you know, there's always one person you jump with together if you're not a professional mm. jumper. I literally hold on to his knee and said, I'm just going to hold on to you for a little bit. I had no idea what he was talking about. I just knew like at some stage you go out, just pretend to be a banana and then you're in the air. <laughs> I was out. I literally, I stopped breathing for a little bit. But then once I was like flying in the air, I thought, holy shit, I did it. Like I jumped out of this airplane. And literally like this, this moment gave me a sensation of, hi Alicia, hi Lynn. Hey Lynn. Nice guys to join us. Um, yeah, this really gave me the sensation of like, holy shit, like you jumped out of the airplane. You can do anything. Like you were flying through, through clouds. Mm. So what it really teach me is like, Okay, you know, sometimes you are fearful, but you just got to do it anyway. Um, you just got to jump right in. Like, you know, um, yeah. If you want to, if you want to succeed, hi, Luke. Um, it's just about doing the things, the uncomfortables, despite of the fear of um, failing or maybe despite of the fear of um, getting injured or, you know. I mean, sometimes you got to think, okay, what's... Yeah, nothing bad can happen, like really. I mean, you're quite protected. Um, yeah, so you're in really good hands. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like I think the point that you made about feeling fear is okay because fear is something that we all have at certain points in our life. Um, Hi, Miriam. And it's kind of based on the fight or flight, you know, like the threat is outside, but you feel fear because of it's something in your mind that you're holding. Right, so, um, and it's okay to feel fear at certain times. The point is just to do the action to get the power. So you've literally hey, just got to do the action, you know, like in order to get the power. So, um, Lynn shared with you the example that you had a fear of heights, right? Like, one of my biggest fears in my life is um, making speeches, actually. So, you know, like I would literally walk up to the stage and just start shaking. You know, like my voice would go, I would start shaking, I would kind of lose my thinking, you know, like I actually can't think in that state. Hey, so, you know, I think the first step to overcoming fear is to firstly allow a bit of space and you have to just give it like a bit of time. You have to be like aware of when fear tends to arise in you. So, and learn you, um, fear of heights. Mm. In me, um, quite fearful in speaking in front of large crowds um, and number two is you have to first of all be aware of the fear but also to accept the fear that it's okay that it's there 
it's okay that you feel fearful at certain points in your life. Um, and the third point is just to focus on the outcome that you want and take the action anyway. Like the key is to take the action anyway, because in time you will learn to be okay with being fear. And fear might manifest itself in you in certain points. So with me, fear makes my throat all locked up, makes my stomach feel quite tight, and it gives me this flip floppy feeling in my legs as if I've kind of lost strength in my legs. But the question to ask yourself is, can you handle those things? Because if you can handle the flip floppy feeling in your stomach, if you can handle the weak legs, you can handle fear. Fear is just a thought that you hold in your head. Um, yeah. A good so, way. A good way is also um, if you do experience, you know, a fearful moment, um, take some hmm. deep breath and make sure your exhale is double as long as your inhale. That really kind of slows down the brain waves and really calms you all over down. Then um, you know, visualize, visualize a happy outcome. Like you know, what what hmm. is it? Okay, what is the outcome you desire? And then really visualize that very thing. And sometimes it's really just close your eyes and jump, you know, and just just do it and just have faith and trust that what you're doing and um, that you're going to be successful. Like for me, if I'm also each time before I'm doing a live, I'm I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I'm going to, mm. I don't know, lose my red thread. And then I had a moment I did lost my red thread and I was literally like. I felt like paralyzed for a second and thought like, okay, there we go, you're live, you have no idea what you just said, and your mind is blank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these things happen. I mean, worst case scenario, okay, I make myself look stupid. But, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, um, but, you know, I am keep trying. I am keep trying to grow and to um, really, um, you know, become really good in in these lives. And I think that's, that's what it's all about, like, not... Not to let fear block your way and not to mm. let fear hold you away from the goals you want to achieve. And, you know, don't, don't allow fear to, I don't know, to be that excuse like, oh, yeah, I can't do that because, you know, I'm mm. very fearful. Just do it anyway. Like, you know, you, you have no idea what you're missing out on when um, you let um, fear, you know, um, shut your way down. So, so yeah, just... Mm. Do it anyway and take some deep breath. There are beautiful techniques you can um, do. Um, I'm doing hypnosis. Hypnosis is a beautiful tool um, to help with anxiety, with um, with fears. Then NLP is also beautiful to um, release fears um, and yeah. all other emotions, really. So, um, hi, hey, Judy. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. So, yeah, if, if you've feel fear and you don't know how to handle it and you think yourself okay you know what I tried everything but I just have no idea how could I do it like okay I tried this I tried that um, EFT is also a good techniques works really beautiful um, setting anchors also NLP techniques mm. really amazing um, there are so many things you can do so really don't let fear um, hold you away from the things you want to achieve from the things from your goals, from your dreams. So yeah, if you need anyone to help you with overcoming fear, uh, you know, um, really to get you closer to where you want to be in life and achieve your goals, give us a call, give us a buzz. We're having, at the moment, we're having an Anzac, Anzac special. Anzac special. It's still till midnight today. Um, it's really a bargain. It's um, $200 mm. for four hours. It's either with Joe, um, three hours personal training if you live in New Zealand um, and you want to do some personal training and an hour some mental coaching or if you do um, if you want to do just mental coaching um, I'm doing Skype sessions I'm also doing person sessions is a one-time offer just for new customers $200 so yeah if you feel you need that um, you know a little bit help to kind of get you on the way give us a buzz we are more than happy to help you and yeah we're both very passionate about um you know seeing you Just succeed life. yeah yeah indeed cool <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. yeah. so have you got anything else you want to say or no, something I'm, about causing I'm good. Or, yeah. thank you guys okay. for joining us it was really amazing yeah. um 
really enjoying doing the lives now and really enjoying yeah. um, seeing everyone and catching up. So um, have a beautiful evening, um, beautiful and week. we'll catch you soon. Yeah, and give right. us a buzz. We love to help you manifest your greatness today. Rise like a phoenix. Bye. Bye.